Just got done with my workout. Uh, it is a Saturday. We are not working today, which means it's quiet, except for right back at the Sandbox Studio. And we just spent the last five days creating a masterpiece back here. It's an incredible project by another Aquascape Artist of the Year. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel. Greg Whitsack the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. Every week this winter, we have a different aquascape artist of the year coming in to the Sandbox Studio, and let's check this out. You are going to be quite impressed. Look at this. <laughs> Swings, fire, this is a trout pond. And they're getting their final shots before we get on our way to the airport. But this is just a spectacular paradise. And let me introduce you on camera, if you haven't seen the Team Aquascape vlogs, to Mark the Pond Guy, the founder of the business, and his muscle, Dan, and uh, Heather, the uh, office executive, hanging out by the spa area, by the fire. And this is just an incredible place. Why don't you go ahead and walk us through this, guys, what you created in the last few days. You guys are the artists behind this. So talk a little bit about when you walk in that door, what the overall goal was that you guys wanted to achieve, because it's not what any of the other artists wanted to achieve. This was literally what you wanted to do was create a trout river in the backyard. Right. The first time I thought about it, when you'd mentioned having the artists here come in was do something cool, do something different. I had some ideas with walls and bulls and urns and stuff. And then after thinking about it, I'm like, we don't do that. That's not us. Mm -hmm. In like, the Pacific just... Northwest, those are elements that you would normally find in nature, which you guys are trying to replicate yeah. with your business. One of our mottos is we create a piece of the Cascades in your backyard. And that's what I concluded with was I'll just stick with what we do, who we are, mm -hmm. who I am as a person and an artist. In, in people's backyards, just stick with a natural. And then you said, Pong guy, get me some trout. Yeah. <laughs> Told Brian I wanted some trout, some firewood, and. You were the first artists to work with the bluestone. This is not, you know, it, but it kind of resembles a lot of the rock that you use it's, up there. It's very similar to the rock we have. From what you pictured in your brain to what you actually achieved, would you say that it was pretty accurate? I mean, obviously, it always comes together. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, it always evolves, but honestly, it came out almost exactly like I was imagining. And a lot of that was, I mean, props to the, to the Aquascape team for picking up what I was trying to articulate to them. And run them with it. Yeah, by like day two, day three, it felt like everybody had the same idea, the same vision, and we just took it from there. Definitely when Dan said he wanted a river, I was like, that's gonna set us apart. I mean, having a river coming through, and one thing that he mentioned was, I want it to look like this river has always been there, and someone came to this property and said, I wanna build a house right here, mm -hmm. and that is, literally the vision. Well, actually what's awesome about that with the idea of building a house on a river is you could technically put that in someone's backyard and they could have quote unquote a trout river in their backyard. Yeah, totally. They can. Yeah. And we do actually get people saying, you know what? We looked for waterfront property. It was beyond our budget. So guess what? This is the next best thing is have a water feature installed. Just from the comments we've already heard, this it just came out looking so real. And so that was a unique thing, bringing the Pacific Northwest <laughs> to a warehouse in the middle of Illinois, which we did. And if we can knock our own socks off, we know we just accomplished well, one, something. One of the things I tell customers, my number one goal is to impress myself, not mm -hmm. in a cocky way, but if, if I'm not constantly improving and or trying to improve, then what's the point? And that's the art. And you don't get better. Yeah. And that's the art. Yeah. And that's the that's what we take the personal satisfaction. And it was fun to see you in there, Dad. How'd you feel about your dad? I mean, uh, normally up. he's designing and selling, but he was working every step of the yeah. way with you in uh, Antonio. He shared with me his ideas and he wanted my input. And and one of the things that was my ideas that we were able to incorporate was the hot spring. Yes. And that's around the corner, but it's alone is going to be a wow factor. With the firewood next to it, it just, yes. it, it really sets up something. And it's kind of funny because one of the ways that you framed it out was with one of the large trees that we ended up going to yes. our friend Mike Abbott at Abbott's Tree Care that got those logs. And when you first put that log in there, I'm like, oh man, that doesn't really look yeah. good. And you then you put a waterfalls on it, which looked completely awesome. And then of course you hit the end. So with the, with the moss and everything right. else. And the only reason, Dan, that we even got so much of the logs was we didn't have enough of the aqua blue stones and so you improvise and you said let's just use more yeah. wood when we finished the back waterfall over where it originates we had like four or five rocks left over <laughs> <laughs> we literally we used every rock, every that we rock had. We had. yeah so one of my favorite elements is the waterfalls that looks like it's coming out of the hot yes. spring in the in the back going in and then i also love 
right on the right hand side, the three logs that you had a perfect little trout eddy right there that it looks like they had come down in a rainstorm and kind of like lodged themselves in there. And it's just like you would see in a natural trout stream. If you walk up to a river and look where you want to fish, you're going to look at maybe I'm going to start here, I'm going to cast over here, cast over here, and that's the stuff you look for. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> like two hours into the trout being there, they were all piled up right there in the log jam where you would expect right. them to be. Right, and in then nature. there's Austin Blue in yeah. there with his fly fishing rod, you know, already pretending. And yeah. how many people could actually walk out their backyard and, you know, fish for trout? And you could technically do that up where you live, where you have the right temperatures and everything else yeah, for trout, totally. and, you know, with the elevations and everything else. So, what are some of the elements you know when you're looking back at the artistic design I mean if I look at you know when I'm looking at this whole thing too I love the waterfalls right when you came in of course the swings were just totally <laughs> it was a very interesting feeling even for me when you go over the water with your feet and there's no land underneath you it, it, it your, your stomach drops off a little bit you know it, it, it feels like you shouldn't be able to do this but yet it fits perfect into the design that was a great great part of it my other favorite part on it is where the water emanates trying to make it look like it was coming up from a natural spring out of the earth, which is exactly what it did with all of the logs and the rocks and everything coming out of the back corner. So one of the ideas with the original design was, I like to try to get the bare bones. One of the things was the trail river, the hot spring, and a nice waterfall, which is on the, on the right side, you can see when you walk through the back door. And then where it originates, I wanted it to look like an upwelling spring. Those mm -hmm. were like the key features that I was after. And I, from there, you just kind of make it up as you go. But I like to start with the key features you're after and then... Let the rocks talk to you. Yeah, yeah. just let them listen to the rocks, yeah. So talk a little bit about pricing, how you would go about structuring and pricing a project like this if you were to actually try to replicate this in someone's backyard. This particular layout was designed to, like we said earlier, to look like a, a river, a trout stream that was there. So this technically wouldn't work as a trout stream, it'd be a koi pond mm -hmm. with a waterfall and stream. So Brian and I were talking earlier, the pond and waterfalls and all that would probably be between 75 and 85 grand. The hot spring would probably be around 80 grand on its own. And then from there, landscape, depending on your location and plants available and all that, you could do 10 to 20 grand in landscaping, lighting and all that. And if you set it up just like it is, the flagstone patio, all, all that's going to add 10 to 20, depending on the material. So 200 to 225 thousand dollars, you could replicate this yep. pretty much exactly yep. as it is yep. in, in somebody's backyard. Mm -hmm. But basically, you put every bell and whistle into a yep. project like this. You know, this is the Taj Mahal of a water feature in the backyard. And of course, if people just wanted to break down little elements sure. obviously they can just not do the hot spring or do the hot spring and not do the waterfall or make it smaller you know it's basically time and materials dad I mean how do you talk about when someone's thinking about pricing a water feature like this first of all before I ever get to someone's home for a consultation you know we've already talked about budget and a lot of times they come to your house and I guess that's the, and so how many you have a lot of water features where you can show them various sizes and various prices I mean how yep. many water features do you have on your property a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's surrounded. And, 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 including a signature recreation. Lake. Recreation pond, yeah. yeah. Ten feet deep. And just stopped with trout. With your stopped with trout up there. And largemouth bass. So, you know, we get people with every range of budget and a lot of times I talk to people and they're like, wow, you know, we know you only do big stuff. I'm like, no, we do little stuff. And I take them through that process of, we're not just after the big stuff. I said, some of our smallest water features are some of our, like, we look back and think about them and man, those things were so cool. Actually, one of my very favorite water features is a six foot pond with the aqua basin. It's just a little pool and one waterfall. Mm -hmm. We show that picture to everybody. Yeah. And it's tiny, but it's cool. You know, of course, it's gonna be natural for someone to see what we just created or go through our YouTube channel and see what, you know, all these possibilities and they're like, a, naturally, oh, I want all of that. But reality kicks in and it's like, okay, well, let's work with what your budget is. Space like limitations. You, space limitations, and like you said, maybe we just do the hot spring first, or maybe we add the hot spring on later. You know, if I look back at, at this project, what's amazing, what's most amazing to me is the transformation that happened in four days. Definitely. And to think that we came together with our two teams, put this together, and the fact that it'll be taken out is sad, but the fact that it can inspire a lot of people to live the aquascape lifestyle, that's the entire reason that we're doing these vlogs, is so that people can get a professional artist out there and know what they're doing. And then what I love about your family is you invite the people to come and actually see how you live the Oxy lifestyle yourself at your house. First Saturday of every month, May through October, it's called the Moonlight Pond Tour. Outstanding. Well, you guys did a great job. You hit it out of the park and uh, I look forward to uh, the comments. If you guys want to see more of this or ask them questions, ask your questions in the comments right here and uh, we'll respond to them. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>